another unknown film. The Requin, 2022. I've had to fast forward through three minutes of opening credits, which tells me it's going to be shit. If they don't actually get into the story within the first half a minute, then it's going to be shit. Or they're going to drag it on for three hours. It's an hour and a half movie. Um, I don't know what the hell it is. Normally when something has wreck in the title, it's going to be either science fiction or horror. If it's a short word with wreck at the beginning, it's going to be a horror. If it's a long word, it's going to be sci-fi. Um, Equilibrium has wreck in it, therefore it's a sci-fi. Uh, Requiem of something is going to be a horror. The Requin, I'm guessing, is going to be a horror. I could be wrong. Let's face it, there's no alligators in Gator. Eight tedious minutes into the movie and I'm bored shitless. It's la la la, we're getting away from social media. Look at the big ocean with a fake CGI background and ooh, let's play on the beach. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, you know that they're going to get their legs chopped off or some shit's going to happen. I mean, eight minutes into it, I'm bored shitless. Three minutes of that was the opening credits. Five minutes of... Yay, let's go and play on the beat. Oh, for fuck's sake. That it's 100% predictable from the beginning, from the word go. I'm bored. And that's whilst I'm multitasking eight different things at the same time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get another minute and then I'm just going to fast forward it because it's just shit. I mean, like, seriously fucking tedious. I mean, I, I could, I'm going to guess that at some point someone's going to get a leg chopped off, but they're near the sea, so there's probably going to be like sharks involved or some crap like that. Praying for aliens. The acting is absolutely fucking shit. I mean, like, diabolically shit. Especially when they're trying to do something so emotive as she had a miscarriage or a baby died at birth or something like that. It's true. Yeah, this is not how people deal with trauma. I know, I've been through it. I have helped other people go through it. It is just she's behaving in one way one minute and then she's not being consistent in her fucked upness in the head. It is, it's things like he's there, he has no interest in social media, he's not on social media, he wants to go for a swim and she's there freaking out because she can't get Wi-Fi. And then she's the opposite there's no consistency to the characters. It's like somebody, it's like several people wrote the story who couldn't agree on how the characters should be portray portrayed. And the fact that he's now cut his foot open, he's in the sea, in the tropics, someplace, Vietnam, I think it is. And so, pretty much guarantee he's going to get yonked on by a shark. They're on a rock in the ocean, therefore, they're going to get trapped and probably. One's going to die or whatever the fuck ever. He's probably going to die because he's a white bloke. So it's pretty obvious that he's going to die. But, um, yeah, I'm bored to fuck. It's not just that I'm bored. I'm 19 minutes into the movie. I'm unbelievably bored. The acting is shit. The story is tedious. The whole thing is just... We're a fifth of the way through, well, not even a fifth, we're over a fifth, we're like a quarter of the way through, my arithmetic is shit. We're about a quarter of the way through, a third of the way through, and nothing's happened. And there's no development, it's just shit. And I'm going to fast forward it because this is just boring the crap out of me. Yeah, I'm watching it fast forward. I can't be asked watching it in real time. Um, also points out, I really do not like it when there's babies or kids involved getting hurt. You don't see any kids in it at the moment, but you do see a scene twice where she's heavily pregnant and it's not. It's a really badly done pregnancy belly. Really, really fake pregnancy belly. I've delivered five kids myself. So I know what a pregnancy belly looks like. You know, linear niggers and that sort of shit. Oh, look, their little house has been washed away by the storm. For fuck's sake. And, um, yeah, the, the whole thing about babies being harmed freaks me out. And, like, I can't do all that sort of shit. 20 years ago, 50 years ago, it wouldn't have bothered me. 
what I've been through, I can't handle that sort of crap. All right, so they're doing the Wicked Witch of the West. They're all floating away on the house, which is not... It wouldn't happen. This shit does not happen. It would sink or collapse. The whole point of the house being built is that it has structure. It is sitting upon the legs. You take the legs away, it collapses. It's called foundations. All right, so they're now floating adrift. And his legs got slashed open, and he's like, My God, this is shit. So, who are they going to eat? Well, it's not going to be an issue, as they're going to run out of fucking water. In that sort of an environment, you, de you die of dehydration within 24 hours. It's that simple. Because you've got the heat, which just basically take away all your moisture. I don't care how good a quality the fucking video is, it's shit. So what? Mobile phone reception is going to save the day. <laughs> it's just so fucking predictable. He's bleeding, therefore, sharks. I'm waiting for the end bit where it says, based upon a true story. Yeah, in other words, at some point, somebody died from a shark at some point in the past. That doesn't necessarily make... Are they seriously going to do a signal fire? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, after 20, after like the entire day on the ocean in the heat, they would have died of dehydration. They've been passed out from dehydration. And so I can't even be asked playing it to see what they're talking about and what they're saying. It's just, I don't fucking. Forty-five minutes in, we're halfway through. Now I don't care how much you rush into water, in that kind of heat, being Caucasian, they'd be fucked. A black person might last two days in that sort of temperature without water, because their body, because the pigmentation in the skin, the darker it is, the longer you're going to last. It's that simple. Caucasian person, not a chance in hell. They got fuck all shade. She'd be a blister. And they set fire to the house. Well, there's a fucking surprise. Q sharks. Yump, yump, yump. Da dun, da dun. Da 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 Yes, I'm doing the tune badly on purpose because the film is so shit. Oh, there we go. Shark fin soup. Shoop. No, it's a dolphin. <laughs> yeah, they're in this shit because dolphins kill more people than sharks. They just look cute so they get away with it. And you know what fucks you off about these things with a bad reputation? Dolphins are cute so they get away with mass murder. They kill more humans than sharks do. They kill more humans than orcas. They don't go around yomping cute little penguins in half. Just take a chunk out and go for another one. I mean, things like orca, killer whales, they're actually really intelligent. I mean, watching them herd, admittedly, it is so they can mass murder fishies, but they actually herd them using teamwork. Oh, look, that's a shark. Yomp, 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 yomp. So, who got yomped? There's blood. There's blood. He's going to be yomped. Oh, Jack. Save me, Jack. Jack didn't go up on there because he was getting a blood drop from a mermaid. So is he just a torso? I think that's what he's just a torso, that's what's left. Because there was loads of blood and you couldn't see anything. Oh, he's still there. So you tell me a shark took a fucking leg off and then just sailed away. No, I don't, oh yeah, both his legs. So you tell me the shark came in, ate both of his legs and then fucked off. No, 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 no. Sharkies don't do that. Sharky would have just kept on going. Sharks, especially great white sharks, will actually come. What the fuck? Is she hallucinating or what? Oh no, she's. Fuck no, I just don't care. Um, sharks are these sort of animals. If you watch Jaws, that's quite realistic because sharks do actually come out of the water to have a look at what's going on. 
They don't just stay under water. They will actually come out of the water, jump on a boat, have a st stuttle around, and then go back into the water and drag things in. A lot of fish don't do that. Okay, we're hour and ten minutes in. And she's on the land. Where's the rum? Is it to go every day? Or is she just having hallucinations? Oh no, a bra! Oh, the fuck? Is that hubby still alive? Or is it just some local yokel fisherman? Yep, Nicky's water. Let me guess. Oh, he's alive. Oh, wake up. Me stuck in the long time. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can promise you. If that were to be real, he would not be helping her. He'd be chopping her fucking leg off and wrenching her out. After what the Americans have done to the Vietnamese? Now, they, they would not be helping. Um, did she just chuck him over the boat? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh, but this is just such a shit film. I and mean, the, the very fact that they actually had unknown actors and actresses in this kind of shows just how shit it is. Uh, see, yes, sharks are attracted to movement in the water. They are not attracted to a fucking outboard motor. They are attracted to noises that imitate thrashing and things in distress. They're not attracted to a friggin' outboard. No, splish, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash, not <laughs> Otherwise, what you'd have to do to protect yourself from a shark is to go swimming with a fucking duck vibrator. Oh no, shark attack, check the dildo in. Well, I don't know if you get saved or not, and I don't care, because that was shit.
बाय बाय